Good day, everybody. How are you all? This is Dr. Nandi. Today, we are going to talk about simplifying a logarithmic expression. So I'll share my computer screen with you. Says find the value of logarithm of b to the base a multiplied by logarithm of c to the base b multiplied by logarithm of a to the base c. So, solution. Now, let's change the color of the ink. And go to something like this. So, solution. Let logarithm of b to the base a is equal to x logarithm of c to the base b is equal to y and logarithm of a to the base c is equal to z. So basically find the product of find the product of x times y times z. That's what we have to find out. Okay. Now we have assumed logarithm of b to the base a is equal to x. Using the definition of logarithm, that means the base a raised to the power of x is equal to b. Or if we want to solve for x, then we take logarithm of both sides. So logarithm of a exponent x is equal to b. Using the rule of exponents for logarithms, this is x. Logarithm of a is equal to b. Now divide by uh, equal to, sorry, logarithm of b, okay? Now divide by logarithm of a on both sides. So x is equal to this logarithm of a on this and left side numerator and denominator, they cancel. So x is equal to logarithm of b divided by logarithm of a. Now, similarly, logarithm of c to the base b, we have assumed it to be y, or definition, that means the base b raised to the power of y is equal to c. Now we take logarithm of both sides, we get logarithm b exponent y is equal to log c. Now uh, use the law of exponents for logarithm, we get y logarithm of b is equal to logarithm of c. Now divide by logarithm of b on both sides, they cancel logarithm of b, this logarithm of b, this logarithm of b cancels. So y is equal to log c divided by log b. Also, we have defined lo logarithm of a to the base c is equal to z. Using the definition, that means the base c raised to the power of z is equal to a. Now take the logarithm of both sides. Logarithm of c exponent z is equal to log a. Now expand uh, because the exponent, uh, logarithm of a number with an exponent, the exponent comes in the front as a factor z multiplied by logarithm of c is equal to logarithm of a. Now divide by logarithm of c on both sides. Logarithm of c on the numerator and denominator in the left side cancel and we get logarithm of, I mean z is equal to logarithm of a divided by logarithm of c. Uh, logarithm of c. Okay. So, now we have to find out x multiplied by y multiplied by z. And that will be equal to x is logarithm of b 
multiply uh, divided by logarithm of a y is equal to logarithm of c divided by logarithm of b and z is equal to logarithm of a divided by logarithm of c so sorry so this logarithm of c will cancel with this logarithm of c in the denominator the numerator cancels with denominator then logarithm of a cancels with numerator and denominator they cancel and logarithm of b also cancel with logarithm of b finally we are left with one so x hence x multiplied by y multiplied by z is equal to 1 and this is your final answer. The product of the three logarithm is equal to 1. I will stop here today. If you have any question, comment, write me a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And please let your friends know about it. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button. Also, please let your friends know about it so that they can also subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button. I'll stop here today. I'll come back next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Take care. See you next time.